Hola amores and welcome back to my channel. I am Maritza. I hope all of you are doing better and better each day. In today's video topic, I'm gonna talk to all of you guys out there of what of the harsh truths that I have learned later on in life that I really wish I would have known such a long time ago at just 20 years old, okay? So stay with me, but first click on the subscribe and the like button to show me a little bit, a tiny of support, as well as turn on all the notifications to become aware as soon as I put out a new video. All right, let's begin. All right, my loves, the first harsh truth that I have learned later on in life, a lot later on in life, that I wish I would have known such a long time ago at 20 years old, is that I do not have to live thinking on what others think about me. No way. I don't have to care how others view me or if they think I'm cool or if they think I'm a loser. Who cares? I don't care anymore. Another thing, I do not have to dress for others to be impressed of me. No way. I do not care right now at my age to walk outside with one shoe red and another shoe yellow in, in, in my head, okay? To, I, I don't care to walk around with only one shoe. My love, when I was 20, I was so embarrassed. I was so shy. I was so careful not to give the wrong impression about anything. But now, no way. Now I live life, of course, always respecting my surroundings and respecting the people first and foremost. But I do not care what I do or what I wear, if it's going to be accepted or not accepted by you or by them or by anyone, all right? Today, I live for me and only for me in that sense, of course. All right, my loves, the following truth that I have learned later on in life when it comes to relationships is that we human beings, we should always pick a partner based on values, all right? Values and morals and not on exterior ridiculous motives, okay? Based on beauty, money or certain positions because that means absolutely nothing and I want to puke. Eh because that will not keep you warm at night, okay? What will keep you warm is compatibility. Compatibility, yes. A person who has empathy and compassion and real human values. Those qualities will allow us to grow into adulthood. Those are the ones that give us life, okay? And energy to live. But dating or choosing someone because he has a car or because he has this or because I'm tired to walk and I don't wanna grab a bus, okay? And oh my God, yeah, the guy has a motorcycle or maybe his family is so educated and they have money. My love, well, good for them. That is not mine and that is not me, okay? Yes, his father did good. Good for him. I'm very proud of his father. But none of that crap is important because you are who you are because of your own merits and because of what your heart is made up, okay? The rest is hypocrisy. The rest is what they have, but that's not me. They created it. What are you and me? What are we going to create? Okay, my loves, the following thing... And the following truth I have learned today that I wish I would have known back then is that it is so, so, so important to organize and to prioritize ourselves economically for the unpredictable futures, for the later on rainy days, okay? For the uncertain tomorrow. Because, yes, though we need to have a balanced life. And of course, it cannot all be just work, work, work. Let me tell you now, progressing as individuals is so important. Having economic stability is so important. Being able to have some safety is very important for the future. And I wish I would have learned all this back then that it could not just all be fun, fun, fun and not investing in myself and not working on my education or not learning a trade, please, okay? We need to think about all these things in order to not have the world pass us by, okay? And us just sitting watching how things happen because we did not invest in us when we were a lot younger my loves we just have to see everything happen from our window because we stand still and we did not prepare ourselves okay for any sort of future and because we decided to live every day as if it was our last day no it's important to have a balance to have fun but my loves we have to work and we have to invest in ourselves this way we do not see the world pass us by and us my loves, the following thing I have learned today is that me, my dream does not have to be to accumulate, to accumulate material crap to be happy. No, my loves, I do not want to spend my life working my butt off trying to save enough money so I can buy two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight houses. Yeah, to be like having a monopoly where in our childhood we dreamed, right? We, I wish I had five, I, I had five houses. I wish I had 10 cars or vacation homes here and there or in anywhere. 
know my loves. No, at the end of the day, I do not need to show anyone about my own progress or my success. Okay. And I really only need one house with one bed. And if anything, one motor vehicle to transport myself. The rest I do not really need. Please. All right. And plus, I have seen countless people work their asses off trying to accumulate economic things so they can just become sick at the end and leave everything to those who didn't work one bit for it, who didn't do anything, any sacrifice to build anything themselves. So enough with having to be well, okay? But the dream to accumulate wealth for God knows who, for who, I don't know for who, that is just nonsense, at least to me, all right? The following lesson I want to share with all of you out there is a lesson that I have learned seeing mirrors, seeing other people throughout my life who have used their youth years to waste them all in bad things, all right? Bad, unhealthy things like maybe lots of drugs or lots of alcohol and lots of unhealthy eating all the time, okay? All for what? all to reach a, a certain age and die very young okay why because they die a lot sooner than they had to go they did not have to leave this earth so soon so you who you could still do it please take care of yourself and your health okay if you still have the chance to do it do it because why try to grow so much and learn so much and have so much and accomplish so much for what to ruin your health and your mind and become super stressed to not even have time to eat healthy or even time to exercise or to sleep come on my loves so when our time comes to enjoy things like that our body is so sick and tired come on please and are you gonna be ready to give up uh, no you're not okay so learn to have a balance to 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 play to to eat healthy and maybe a little bit unhealthy too okay because bad things sometimes are what gives us the adrenaline my love but you have to combine it it can all all be just bad things for you okay definitely take care of you and your body and your soul so you do not have to regret it later on in life okay or so when the time passes here and there your time to leave this earth is not gonna expire that soon okay sooner than it needed to my loves the following lesson i will share is that please i want to tell you that to not waste too much time to not lose so much time trying to fix something that is already broken okay life is too short to dwell and dwell on one issue specifically if it cannot be fixed then live with it like that and be okay with it or leave the problem behind and go move on to another thing and be happy okay bad relationships or trying to help those people who do not want any help or trying to work on something really hard and break your head okay my loves no if it's not working or making you miserable today no way leave it and move on in life okay my loves life is way too short if today was your last day would you want to still be trying uh, to do this so bad with this person or this relationship or this thing trying to fix what you have no my love go be happy and move on today let go my loves the following lesson that i have learned today is this one when we get with somebody when we meet somebody when we marry someone Guess what? We're also not going to be married to their family and with their friends, okay? Not just with the person you and me alone forever and that's it, okay? Because they had a life before they met you and they had it way before meeting me as well, okay? And they have people who love them and who will continue to love them even after we're together, even after we get married. Okay, my love, so pick wisely. Make sure you can form a bond also with their people. Otherwise, it will just be going against you all the way through. Your relationship is going to be like that and hard and sucky and difficult. Okay, because to live with someone where you hate all their friends or where you hate their in-laws with guts or you hate their family, it's just a very shitty situation and I do not wish it upon no one. Okay, what better than to grow and to become one big family or to be able to enjoy each other's friends come on my love life is a lot better and nicer and happier when we all live in peace and not all the time aggravated and fighting with the mother-in-law or the brothers uh, or all that bs that comes with with meeting someone and also their family and not getting along or their friends come on you understand okay my loves the following thing that i have learned today later on in life years ahead of when i was 20 is that it's okay to say no okay it's okay to not do a favor to someone and to go against my will okay my love if i don't feel like doing it i'm gonna say no 
please what's the point okay what's the point of losing my mind because when we are 20 years old we're easily manipulated by another person who maybe we try to be with and we try to impress people always by saying yes when we know it's hell hard to do so okay what they're asking us to do no my love if i'm tired if i cannot do it if it doesn't feel right for me if i'm not okay with it i will say no today okay because me and my peace and my well-being do heck do come first okay all right, my loves, the following thing I have learned later on in life is that when we are younger, we have to be happy with what we choose to do, what we choose to work or where we choose to study. OK, it cannot just be we choose something because of the money or because we want to give uh, other people pleasure. No, my love, because that would just make me resent myself in the long run. Yes, understand, we do need to, to do something, but pick something that you want to do with your life that you also enjoy, okay, that it doesn't always feel like hard work every day, hard, boring work, something where a little bit of pleasure is, is mixed in, okay? Think well what you want to study, if you want to study something, and if you have the means to do it, please, okay? Do not waste your time doing something or studying something that doesn't move you, because you may end up feeling depressed in the long run, okay? You need to be happy with what? What you choose okay please understand that that is the bottom line for me do something that you want to do with your life that will motivate you and make you be happy my loves and the last one I want to share with all of you out there yes that I have learned later on in life is that we have to try and stop and enjoy and relax and enjoy the moment enjoy the today enjoy the right now and i know this can be very very hard to so many of us because we have so many distractions right it becomes so hard to focus just on one thing right at the moment because we have so much going on around us but in reality this second right now it's our, it could be our last breath all we have is now and remember, as I say in Spanish, el pasado ya no existe y el futuro es incierto. Solo tenemos hoy. And it means yesterday doesn't exist. Tomorrow is uncertain. All we have is today, okay? So instead of fighting so much with everyone else and holding resentments, let's try to live in peace. And let's try not to build so much inside of us or have so many resentments because later on or today or tomorrow may be our last breath in this planet. So let's learn to relax and live more at peace with ourselves and let's learn to forgive a little bit more so our mind is more at ease all right there you go i gave you the 10 truths that i have learned later on in life that i wish i knew when i was just 20 years old actually i'm going to give you a last bonus one right now okay and that one is i have learned that life is way too short and that any moment anybody who i really treasure could vanish very quickly from this planet so i have learned that i rather today spent my most precious asset which is of course my time with the people who i really care for and less time doing other nonsense or spending it with other people that are really not that special or that meaningful to me all right anyways Everything I have shared today are just a few things that I have learned through life and also through the eyes of others and the life of others around me. Like, for example, my mother, who has been my best friend and my mentor all throughout. And things I have learned maybe in the eyes of now being a married woman, all right? Or maybe things that I have learned through the people who have lived here way more than me. And also the sad reality of uh, that I have seen with the people who I have really loved dearly with all my heart and who have left this planet Earth already, okay? So you, my friends out there, take what you want, what you can, and what works for you, all right? And what doesn't? don't take it. With that being said, I send a big hug to each and every one of you and good luck to all. Before we go, I welcome all of you to connect with me through Instagram. And also don't forget to go and to check out and to subscribe to my other music relaxing channel here on YouTube. And last, don't forget to go and see the channel's membership where any, any subscriber can join. If maybe you, you find it useful. All right, my loves, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching and for sticking with me in today's video and with the channel. Thank you. I hope you liked what I shared and I look forward to having all of you again here soon. All right. I ask you one thing, one thing only, which is share this video to someone who may need it, someone who you think it can be useful for. Okay. If us people, if we can do something good for other people, let's do it. Okay. Why not? Especially if it's not going to cost us anything. All right. 
And last, let me know your thoughts on what I discussed today about what are those very harsh truths that we as humans, we learn later on in life that we wish we would have known just at 20 years old, all right? And also, please go ahead and share some of your personal experience and the, and the lessons you want to share with all of us because we all want to read them and see them and, and, and take what we can from them, all right? Once again, I am Maritza. And know that I will try my best to continue bringing you always ways on how to create a better bond with yourself and a more meaningful relationship with those around you. Till next time. Ciao, ciao, my loves. Ciao, ciao, my amores.